Throughout my school years, I was always a good and responsible student. I completed my work on time and studied well for almost all the tests. But one morning, I opened my eyes due to the loud sound coming from my cell phone. I received a text from my close friend who asked me, Did you study for the English quiz today? And I was terrified. I jumped out of my bed immediately. I was thinking of what I should do since I did not have any time left to prepare for the test. And then an idea popped in my head and began taking notes, but not on paper. Instead, on the palms of both of my hands. I wrote everything we had to learn for the test. The test was taking place during first period. I took my seat, saw the test, and cringed. During the test, I tried my best not to have any eye contacts with the teacher or my classmates and just focus on the assignment. But I couldn't help myself as my mind almost went blank. Hands were shaking as I was trying to read my notes, but at the same time, hide them. I kept looking at the clock, ticking every few seconds, but time just seemed to be frozen. After the long-lasting 30 minutes have passed, the teacher said, Hand in your papers! I was so relieved that I wasn't caught, and then suddenly a feeling of a cool rain washing away all the weight on my shoulders. When everyone had it in their work, Miss Smith continued the lesson explaining a new topic. I innocently raised my hand to ask a question, without noticing that the palm of my hand had all the notes for the quiz, and that's when I felt as if I'm about to explode. Miss Smith screamed, What's on your hand? And she called me to her front desk. I was shaking. The teacher questioned me what was on my hand, and I did not want to tell her at first. I kept my hands in the pockets of my jeans and pretended it was something else. But she insisted on having a look at it herself, and that's when she found out that I cheated. At that exact moment, I just wanted to crawl into a small box and hide from it all. To teach me a lesson, she gave me a lunch duty, meaning I had to clean the school cafeteria for exactly a week. So every lunchtime I had to go to the cafeteria and not eat, but clean after all the others. And it was terrible, especially when people would stare at me and ask, How did you get that? And I didn't know what to say because it was quite embarrassing. And after this incident, I became a lot more careful and thoughtful of my assignments. Oh my god, and we totally jumped off the cliff and had to swim all the way to shore because the dog chased us all the way to the end. Oh.